The Liberty Flame Sports Network's football position previews continue with a breakdown of the tight ends and fullbacks. Collectively, these groups proved to be valuable blocking and catching the football a year ago. Tight end Justin Gunn had a breakout season with 18 catches and three touchdowns. Gunn has now graduated, so now it's time for senior captain Brandon Apon to assume those duties. He's uh, stepping into a role a little bit different because he was not a starter, but he did play a lot last year. So, uh, you know, he's got a lot of game experience. But, you know, with him right now, he's, we're really working on increasing his fundamentals uh, and, and knowing what to do all the time. And he's, he's always been a very smart player. Now it's let's make our fundamentals and techniques better with what we call. Apon's been an effective target for Liberty quarterbacks in 28 career games. The senior from Woodstock, Georgia, has 10 catches, with four of those going for touchdowns. Entering his final season at Liberty, Apon is confident in what he wants to achieve this fall. Just consistency, um, being the being the, the best I can be every play, every snap, uh, in the blocking game, in the passing game, um, mentally in the film room, just knowing everything, knowing uh, you know, expanding my knowledge of the offense, uh, but just consistency, being that that guy uh, all the time. Apon, like many of the Flames' tight ends and fullbacks, is very versatile in what he can do on a football field. And that makes game planning exciting for offensive coordinator Aaron Stam. You know, I kind of have a good problem every day is like I sit there and I look through our script and I say, okay, well, I need to get this guy and then this, this play, but I could really put this other guy and this guy. So uh, it's kind of a little bit of a, <laughs> I guess you could say a little bit of a struggle, right. just trying to make sure I get everybody the repetitions that they need. But uh, uh, they're all good athletes, you know, and, and, you know, they all push each other too. So, uh, which has made the group very competitive with each other. And, uh, you know, somebody maybe does do something right, they're on them. And, uh, you know, I like to see the guys respond off of it, too. When you're talking about uh, a, a group that's involved in all aspects of the offense, if we want to be successful on the goal line, if we want to be successful in the, in the passing game, whether we're protecting route on routes, um, the, the Y, the U, and the F, and the fullback um, from, the, from the tight end room, we all play a pivotal piece in that, in that puzzle. The Flames employ two tight end positions, which they call the U and the Y. Along with Apon, veteran Peter Gagliardi will return after missing all but one game last season with a knee injury. Dexter Herman, who played in five games a year ago, has also been mentioned by the coaches as a player that's turned some heads since practice began. Michael Johnson and Nikki Fuala Al both took reps at fullback last season. Fuala Al played in 11 games with six starts. Traditionally, the fullback is not a glamorous position, but in Liberty offense, the fullback has its place and Aaron Stam has two bowling balls to use for a knockout punch. Nicky is a very good athlete. Um, he can run, you know, he's a strong guy, and he does catch the ball extremely well, and, you know, he was very, very productive for us last season uh, as a fullback in the blocking game. I mean, he had a lot of knockdowns, and I uh, was very physical, but, um, you know, just a good football player. And Mike Johnson, like I said, has stepped in and, and done a lot, a lot of great stuff, and, you know, like, like you said, we, we we try to use a lot of personnel, uh, and we in not all the time just having them line up in the eye, you know. And, and that's where in year two of being in the offense now, now we're trying to push these guys mentally to start understanding. Hey, you could line up in this position. What would you do? And hopefully they would know. Aaron Stam says this group has the potential to be one of the best he's ever coached. The talent is there, the depth is there, and the versatility is there. And when those three ignite, it will add an additional dimension to a Liberty offense that's poised to break out in 2013. For the Liberty Flame Sports Network, I'm Alan York.